Hi guys, I'm coming on here because I would like to say a quick little battle prayer, guys, for those who are really in need, praying for the prayer warriors, praying for our brothers and sisters all throughout the nations, guys, just praying, you know, just really heavily attacking the enemy, guys. Now, I want to just um, encourage you all, guys, to just keep praying. We are in some intense spiritual warfare. If you are being led to pray in tongues, guys, do so. I found when you are praying in tongues, it definitely makes your prayer stronger. And when I've been doing it, guys, I've been feeling the fire of the Holy Spirit heavily upon me as I've been praying, guys. Some of you may have different languages within tongues. That's, you know, that's your language, guys. Sometimes the Lord, you know, the Lord also give you interpretation to the things that it is that you're saying. So I just really want to stress that and keep that in mind, guys, when you pray, really and truly just keep praying in tongues and pressing into it guys and and out loud guys <laughs> when you're doing that um so i just ask that you all you know stand in agreement especially the prayer warriors guys because we're in need of it all of us <clears throat> so here we go heavenly father we all just come before you we come before you father in the full armor of god the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness our shield of faith, the butler, our sword of the spear, and other weapons that you've given us access to, our feet of readiness to preach the gospel of peace, as well as our belt of truth, Father, fully armored. And I pray for your angels as well, Father, that you also keep them covered, fully armored, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. Right now, I just lift up your people, Lord, the saints, in Jesus' name, in prayer, asking that you just cover us all, that you will protect us, that you will anoint us, Father, that you will protect our ministry, those who have youtube ministries or ministries online social media accounts father i pray and ask that you would just anoint our ministries and that you would protect them from any type of wicked schemes or devices from individuals father those who may be spies those who are may be witches really trying to destroy the works that you're trying to perform father we come against that now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we cast them to the lake of fire where they belong in jesus name father and i speak nuclear bombs to be thrown upon them in, in jesus christ mighty name father I pray, Father, and just ask that you will keep us safe. I rebuke and bind up any spirits of worry, fear, anxiety, depression, those who may be having trouble sleeping, those who are going through sleep paralysis, Father. I bind up that nightmare spirit. I bind up the dream catcher spirit. I bind up the this, this dream snatcher spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, and cast them to the lake of fire where they belong in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father. Wherever you're in, wherever your, my brothers and sisters may be, Father, your children, I just pray and ask, Father, that you continue to just have mercy upon us. May you just shower your protection upon us. May you shower your love and your strength upon us, Father. Those who may have stony hearts, Father, I pray and ask that you just take out those stony hearts and give them a heart of flesh, Father. I pray that you just continue to purge all your people, Father. May you give us a spiritual cleanser from the crowns of our head to the soles of our feet, Father, where we will just abide in you, being on one accord with one mind, being in you as the body that you have called us to be, Father. I pray and ask that you just make our minds and our hearts to be on one accord with your will father helping us to be obedient helping us to remain obedient and to not give into the lust of the desires of the flesh we come against those things in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father any type of distractions any type of temptation that may come our way father we rebuke them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father any demonic spirits that may be trying to attack us through others regardless whether it could be family it could be friends old friends people online, wherever we may go, Father, we just come against them mightily in Jesus' name. And I pray that those who need to be brought into repentance, Father, that they will be brought into repentance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. I pray that people will make the right choices. I pray that people will turn to you. I pray that people will learn to just trust in you, your way, and not their way, Father. I pray that we all will learn to continue surrendering so we can be those people who you have called us to be, Father. I just pray next that you just keep all the prayer warriors, Father, protected and safe may you continue to just increase their power and increase their anointings as they're praying for people father and i pray and ask that you just mightily protect them in jesus name father i pray for your holy angels and act that you protect them father any angels that could have taken any type of damage or wounds from fighting in the spirit, Father, I pray and just ask that you will immediately heal them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father i pray and ask that you send back up to your angels who are really in need wherever they may be father amongst the four corners of the earth wherever they may be may you just send back up in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray for our brothers and sisters overseas father those in all 
continents. I just pray and ask that you protect them, Father, that you be with them mightily. Those who may be struggling with things, Father, regardless whether it's fear, we come against them and cast it to the lake of fire in Jesus' name, Father. I speak power, I speak strength, I speak an anointing, a strong, fresh, powerful anointing over them in Jesus' name, Father. I pray for revival within your people, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. I pray that your people will remain faithful in you, Father. Those who may be struggling, those who may be suffering in silence, Father, I pray and just ask that you would help them, that you have mercy upon them. May you give them the strength to yield to what it is that you may want them to do or tell them to do, Father. And I pray that they will stay abiding in you, Father. I pray any, I just pray, Father, and just ask that you will anoint the atmosphere in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, putting the enemy in his place, destroying any type of schemes or devices that he may be trying to perform within the air, Father. We can't allow any second heaven activity where those demons may be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. I call for a fiery hurricane in the spirit to destroy the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. And I pray and just ask that you would destroy any plants, any type of research, any type of dirt that these demons have been trying to gather upon your people, Father. I come against them mightily in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, where they may be completely and utterly destroyed and cast to the lake of fire where they belong in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father. May the plans of the enemy be canceled out in Jesus' name, Father. Any type of sickness, any type of fear, any type of sin that may be within us, Father, that's attempting to try to keep people bound, I come against them mightily and break it off their life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, and I plead your blood upon us, Father. May you just continue to just strengthen us, giving us a fresh, strong anointing, Father. I pray that those who are unaware of the power that they have in you, the authority given to you by Christ Jesus, our Lord, Father, that they will come into the truth, the recognition the recognizing that father and just operating it in that full power that you have given us as your word says you've given us power to conquer and trample over all scorpions any unclean spirits that may try to rise up against us father because we are heirs of you and co-heirs with christ as the word says father i pray and ask that we continue to just walk in this authority and power that you have given us father any people who may have any sickness any ailments father regardless whether it could be cancer it could be scoliosis whatever it may be we bind it up and cast it to the lake of fire in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father those who may be feeling as if they're lacking or those who may need a charge in the spirit some strength father i speak strength to them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father i speak power unto them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth those who want to really do right and get right father i pray and just ask that you be with them mightily in jesus name father and that you will help them that you will show them the way and that they will yield to what it is that you're telling them to do father i pray that people will put down any idols any potential hidden idols that may be within them father and just really focus on you staying fixated remaining focused on you as we all should be father i come against any demonic spirits all over in jesus name and any demonic spirits that try to come against this prayer we bind them up and cast them to the lake of fire where they belong in jesus name father i speak atomic bombs upon the secret headquarters where the enemy may lie in jesus name father may you protect us may you protect our ministries may you protect everything but that belongs to us may you protect our families father wherever we may go Father, I pray that people, that you will soften their hearts and that they will really be brought into repentance and remain obedient to you, Father. I pray that we all just remain focused and continue to put you, your needs above our needs, whatever it is that we're holding on to that serves us no good, Father, regardless whether it could be pain, bitterness, whatever it may be, Father. I pray and just ask that you will uproot that from us, Father, and that you will fill those places within us with your love. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, may you help us to learn to be you know to stand as the people that you have called us to be father be in the example that you have called us to be and anything that we could be struggling with father i pray and just act that you just give us the grace and the knowledge to overcome it where we can just remain on one accord with you father anyone who's getting attacked with fear or doubt we just come against it and i pray that the fire of the holy ghost would just burn just burn any demonic spirits that's trying to operate around people or within the people in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we cast you to the lake of fire where you belong in jesus christ mighty name father let your word go forth no weapon formed against your people will be will prosper father because as your word says the righteous will not be moved where you are with us and you go before us there is no need to fear because everything that happens works out for our good father and i pray that people who may lack in not knowing how to put on a full armor and operate in that authority father that you would teach them i pray that you would be their guide father as the word says the holy spirit is our teacher in all things i pray that people will learn to turn to you i pray that people will learn to trust in you i pray that people will learn how to effectively attest the spirits as you have called us to do father i pray that your people 
but just learn to submit to you. I pray that your people would come out of any type of hypocrisy or whatever that they may be in, Father, in any and all areas, and just really and truly trust in you, Father. I pray for those who are struggling, those who are lacking in areas, Father, those who may be suffering from lack of basic necessities, those who may be ill, those who may be in some unfavorable situations that feel as if they don't have a way out, Father. May you just help them, Father. May you just show them the way. And I pray that you give them the strength to yield to whatever whatever it is that you may be showing or telling them, Father. May you continue just to just have your way within your people, Father, and just helping us to remain focused on you in all that we do, Father. Give us the strength. Thank you for all that you've done, what you're, what you're doing now, and what you will do, Father, because you will come through because you are faithful, as the word says, and you just faithful in general. So thank you so much, Father. And you just bless the person who is watching this video, Father. Those on my YouTube channel, whoever may be seeing this video, Father, may you just have mercy upon them when you anoint them, Father. May you just bless them and just give them the strength that it is that they need, Father, to get out of any unfavorable situations that they may be in. Those who may be experiencing Jezebel on the jobs, wherever they may be, Father, within their own household, we just come against that mightily in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any type of witchcraft, hexes, or spells, or curses that people, that individuals are trying to place on your people father we cancel them out in jesus name i pray that those people will be brought to repentance and if not if they don't want to repent father may your judgment be mightily upon all your enemies wherever they may be in jesus mighty name we pray amen